It's Mother's Day today. How about that? Hey, I gotta tell you something cute. There was this English lady walked by. You know that tall, slim one? Uh -huh. She's from England. Well, I wished her a happy Mother's Day, and she seemed a little surprised. Then she said, "Well, well, thank you. Mother's Day in English is in Mar in England is in March." Oh, is it? Yeah, I said. So I told her she could have two Mother's Days. <laughs> I didn't know that. I didn't either. So you learn something new. So that Mother's Day is in March in, in, England. in England. Yeah. Wow, I did not know that. I thought it was universal. <laughs> I did too. <laughs> oh well. Well, that was a nice little treat for her. Yeah. Did you wind up getting a hug for that? Yeah, I did. <laughs> so it paid off for you, too. Yeah, and these other ladies that came by, my golly, the one with, I had wished her a hopper, happy Mother's Day. Oh, she seemed kind of surprised. She'd forgotten it, and um, she had seven children. Wow. And 21 grandchildren. How about that? My goodness. And her sister was with her. She, she was also a mother. So it's fun seeing these ladies and... Wishing him a happy Mother's oh, Day. Breezy. That wind will keep the flies off here. As a mother Seven. has a, a terrific lot of work to do, and they do gr a great job. Don't at they it. do good jobs? Boy. I'll tell you what, I know my mom did. Yeah. She had her hands full with me. Well, because, you know, the, the dad, he, he's, uh, he's got to uh, well, he's earn the a provider. living, and he's usually away working. Yeah. And, uh, and um, sometimes, uh, even if he isn't off working, he isn't all that... Uh, uh, concerned and interested in the uh, in in the, the uh, household family duties, life yeah. in the household and and uh, so the mother is really she's got, kind of got the job pretty much all to herself. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's you know things have changed a little bit now. There's a lot of working moms. Yeah, and, 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 and sometimes the sta dad stays home, takes care of yeah. things, but basically he's off working and uh, and she's at home with the children and so uh, even a lot of the discipline that should come from the dad uh, but uh, comes through from the mother she provides the discipline the training my goodness the whole thing my mom would when it came to discipline my mom she would she was in charge of it but i don't know how to say it she would take care of the little things and but she when, say when your when yeah. your dad comes home he'll really let you yeah. know dad yeah, then you're always she told kinda, dad about the big things and kind of dad took frightened, care of business. frightened of your dad yeah <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> you never wanted dad to find out because you knew that there was going to be a penalty oh, yeah. for that yeah one. that razor strap in yeah. the bathroom something you know. <laughs> good morning yeah the old the old days were a lot different you got a you got a whooping when you did something yeah, bad they didn't the have safety days. razors so you had a razor strap <laughs> now they just tell a kid to go stand in the corner or something <laughs> There's no consequences anymore. Well, discipline is really vital. It's important. Yeah, discipline. you aren't kidding. Without that, why, well, it's just chaos. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, Mom. And you know, she let a lot of things slide. <laughs> she kind of turned, turned well, her eye. Well, you know, she loved the kids, which is one of the best for them, but loved them and wanted to provide uh, really great conditions and yeah. good training and upbringing, boy. Those women, they, they do a fantastic job. I really you know, respect them. When I was a kid, I was always I was always thinking I was getting one over on mom. <laughs> but no, as I got older, she's like, I, you remember when you did this? You remember when you did that? I don't think I just, they missed too much. They didn't. <laughs> My mom said, well, we were just hoping you'd... We'd let you dig your own hole and then <laughs> dig your way out of it. Well, you know, that's how women are even when we're growing up. You know, even when we're married and all, they, they don't miss anything, I don't think. But a good gal just doesn't make a lot of comments about it. <laughs> you there know, you she lets the man have his male ego. But <laughs> in reality, she's in charge anyway. She just that lets, what it is? lets the man feel like he's in charge. <laughs> well, we don't want to bruise the ego. <laughs> no. <laughs> we got to have our male you ego. Point there. That's funny. Oh, no. My mom did a lot for me. I tell you what, my mom had a, she had a tough life. She was, when she was 13 years old, yeah. she developed rheumatoid arthritis. Oh my goodness. So she was 13. Yep. That was supposed to come on until you're in your no. 70s or 80s. So she was always, I mean, her whole life, she was always, she was a guinea pig for medicine. Oh. I mean, they were always experimenting with her, trying new medicines on her. Oh dear. And I mean, and she raised me just, I hope I turned out all right. I don't yeah, know. I think she did a good job. And then she had, she was in pain 24 hours a oh, day. Oh, I'm really sorry. 
I mean, her hands, but by the time she passed away, her body was all twisted. And oh dear, oh dear. It was, it was hard to look at. Yeah, that's it. She really had a heart insane. of gold. And my dad, I mean, he stayed, they, he stayed by her side. Good for him. They, and he had his hands full too, you know? He had, he had a lot to do providing, yeah. like you say, for us and, and taking care of my mom. And he, yeah. um, they were both, they were childhood sweethearts and they both, Oh, and that they, well, they both separated, went, oh, get all these flies. Sorry about that. Ugh. Oh. They, they were childhood sweethearts and they both kind of went different ways. He went off in the Air Force and he married some French girl and she married oh, really? some other guy, yep. And then when they were 40, they wound up getting divorced and and got back and got, together. And they got together oh, and got what married. A, what and a romantic story. Right away they had me. <laughs> How about that? That's well, the story of romance. That's yep. wonderful. But then something that was really incredible was they passed away on the same day. No kidding. Yep. You kid. That's yep. I had, I had, they lived in Miami. I grew up in Miami and I brought them over here and I had a house that I rented behind my house and I was trying to take care of them and it got yeah. too much. and. I put them in a, a nursing home here on Immokalee Road, and they were in there for about eight months. And my mom, my dad passed away in the morning, and my mom passed away that evening. My gosh! There's... And they, their entire lives, they told me they were here for each other. That's amazing. And just amazing. Just natural causes, you know. They both passed. How and, old were they about? Uh, seventy-two. Uh -huh. But the ironic thing was the very next day was their wedding anniversary. No kidding. Yep. <laughs> That's really something. And so, they were both gone the day before. Yep. They both passed the day before in, in time to spend their anniversary together in heaven. How about that? Yeah, Wasn't that something? Audrey passed just a day before her birthday. Did she? Because I had her birthday cake. I was going to bring it out to oh. her, and then they said she was gone. Now, Audrey had children, right? Oh yeah, yep. she's a daughter. Yeah, but you two, you and Audrey didn't have children, did you? Did you have no. children? No, no. Just I gotta stretch my legs here for a second. Old age. <laughs> it's hard to get back up. <laughs> it is. <laughs> I have the same problem. Uh, well, you have an excuse. You're 93 years old. I'm not. <laughs> but yeah, so Audrey passed before the day before her birthday. Yeah. Well, I never knew that. When I started my beach walk this morning, I started up by the bench and read everybody that beautiful poem you wrote. Well, thank you. I mean, that was, thank I you. thought that was appropriate for today. Well, yeah, that's right. She was a mother too. Yep. So tell me something about your mom. You know, oh, mom was terrific. She, she took care of us. And then she took, one of the really great things is she took some great trips with us. Really? Yeah, my dad, she had an old, it was amazing. It was a Cunningham, it was called, it was a funeral car of all darn things. Oh. One of these real big things, right. but he redid it so we could sleep in the back of the car. Not a hearse. No, no, not a hearse. The one but the family it, rides it. Yeah, I think like so. Limo, it was a really yeah. big old thing. And, uh, and but he, he probably was manufactured one of the first, uh, like these, um, uh, mobile home things that drive along. Oh, whatever really? They call An RV? Those, yeah. Whatever they call An those RV. things now. Yeah. yeah, RV, but it wasn't that big. But we, we were young kids, my brother and I, and we slept in the back. And my mom had a separate bed, so we all slept in the car. And we took some <laughs> long trips. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. We She took us way out west. I know we, we saw the... Uh, the redwoods and uh, oh, and oh, wow. we can't different place all this the park the huge parks we we visited and all with mom all the, and yeah, the she, national parks. then we camped at Devil's Lake when we were kids and and uh, we had a tent there we camped all summer that's where we learned to swim and to sail I built a little kayak and learned it uh, with a sail on it and learned to sail there and dad had come out on weekends and visit and wow. the rest of the time we camp there so mom was with us the whole time so did did your mom and dad take turns driving on those trips or well dad didn't come oh, dad didn't that's go. where okay. i was getting it was just, mom. Just, yeah, mom, it was just mom yeah on the long trips and wow. so that that was really something uh, that was one of the big things that mom did with us and so we we had quite a great life <laughs> uh i remember my mother one year 
she was my mom would do anything to get you know to make people laugh she just wanted to make other everybody happy oh how wonderful she one halloween i never if my dad almost killed her she she just went out she put on his jock strap <laughs> you're kidding and, and a bra and went around trick-or-treating with me. the jock and a bra <laughs> That's the goofiest thing I've ever heard. Oh my God! It, <laughs> she stuffed a big sock in what? the jock strap. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, that's a good oh, one. Oh my dad's. What are you thinking? <laughs> he didn't have a steel jock <laughs> like a football player, no, did he? No, just, no, not the it was the craziest thing. She didn't go far. She just went. <laughs> oh, that's just, a good one. I got to hand it to her. Just to some of our close friends. <laughs> I was embarrassed. My I'll dad bet, was embarrassed. I'll bet you he had a fit, didn't he? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, it was the silliest thing I'd ever seen in my life. Oh, oh my. It almost ruined me for life. <laughs> How old were you? Were you well, aware of it? Yeah, I was probably eight. <laughs> <laughs> so you had a rough idea what was going yeah. on. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's really, I got to hand it to your but mom. The people, when the, the look on the people's faces when they open their door. Oh, just, oh, Lord. What the heck? What a gal. I got to hand Thelma it to lost her. Their marbles. Oh, I like a good laugh. <laughs> Somebody, oh, do something like that. It's fabulous. Well, <laughs> she knew how to have fun, though. She, they used to enjoy it. Every once in a while, they'd get to go to parties, and they used to have fun together. Yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. My they, dad, she called my dad and stick in the mud. <laughs> she was the outgoing yeah. one. He was. He, she was, he was the introvert. Did they dance, was, dance together at the party? Oh, yeah. Oh, but wonderful. my dad was pretty reserved. Yeah. He, he kept a low profile. Well, it's a lot of times that way where the one is one way and the other is the other. And they, they make a good union then. Yep. <laughs> How about your mom? Was she out? Was she outgoing? Oh, uh, yeah. It, kind of. Not, not, you know, not real whoop de doo We didn't mm -hmm. have a lot of parties at home or anything right. like that. Yeah. <laughs> She played the piano, and How she got us going in music, too, as a matter of fact. She played the piano, and then my granddad, he, he played the violin and the flute, and the violin he gave to my brother, so he played the violin, the flute he gave to me, so I learned to play the flute. Oh, boy. So, you still have that, I think. I, I saw have my old yeah, flute, I saw the flute yeah. at your house. It was from my granddad. It probably doesn't work anymore, does it? No, the pads are kind of gone, but it's still there. Speaking of music, ugh, you got that harmonica with us? I do. How about um, You Are My Sunshine for all our moms out there? Oh, yeah, they're our sunshine. They are right? our sunshine, aren't they? Yeah, my only sunshine. Hmm. You make me happy when skies are blue. Gray. Gray. <laughs> well, I like blue skies. They make us happy all the time, no matter what color the skies are. <laughs> We'll see how the, the eighty-year-old old, owner, old reeds are doing. Yep. <laughs> you are my sunshine. moms out there our sunshine <laughs> good morning good morning who's behind me oh there's some couple there oh, just hey how are you guys haven't seen uh, Scott and Linda out here yet this morning no they were here yesterday quite a bit for a long long time oh were they oh, oh yeah. That's nice. yeah nice oh say speaking of dolphins this English lady told me there were two dolphins Way down that way and really coming out of the water with her tail sticking oh, really? up and wrapping it around. So. They must be boycotting you and me up here. <laughs> well, they, it was kind of way down a ways, but... Uh, I, I miss seeing them. Yeah. Did you catch them up at the pass you yesterday? Know, I, I didn't see them up there yesterday. Well, at least I saw them there. Yeah. Oh, gosh. <laughs> well, it's nice chatting to you. Nice hearing about your mom. Yeah, I gotta think back about mom. I'll say a bunch of prayers for her. Yeah. 
she and the nicest lady came by. It was one of the ladies that I uh, congratulated for Mother's Day. She said that she, when she was doing her rosary up the beach, she included me in her prayers when oh, she did sweet. her rosary. Wasn't that sweet? That is sweet. Yeah, it touched my heart that she'd pray for me like that. I hung a couple shells on the tree there this morning for yeah. our moms, for our moms yeah. that are with us and for our moms that aren't with yeah, us. Yeah, we'll say a, say a prayer for moms up in heaven. Yeah. They're so wonderful, wonderful people. So yeah. there's always, they're still watching over us, our moms. Yeah, isn't that something? <laughs> you get that feeling, don't yeah. you? I know when she's watching me. And I, I talk to mom up in heaven too. And to dad and to grandma and grandpa. Yeah, yeah. they're all... You just get that feeling, that warm feeling inside, you know, well, when they're with you. You know, prayer, it's all kind of prayer, too. It yep. ties in a prayer, which is just an unbelievable, fantastic, glorious thing is prayer. It makes you feel so wonderful. Yes, it does. Of course, wow. of course it's making serotonin in your brain. Yeah, <laughs> serotonin that, makes that you happy. That helps along. Yep. <laughs> That's sure an interesting scientific fact, why prayer should create serotonin, but they've proven it. <laughs> yeah, that serotonin, that's why you always have that smile. <laughs> you got the serotonin in your blood. Well, life is so <laughs> glorious, you know, it's just it's so wonderful and glorious. And, and a, a big, big part of life, like we talked about, is friendship. And, my friendship with you. I look forward to seeing you every morning here. When I, when I see you down the beach, I oh boy, there's Rob. It's a <laughs> really, what I say. I'm like, oh it's boy, a great, got, glorious when feeling. When I see you up here, I'm like, oh good, thank goodness Roy's up here. <laughs> the morning when I come to the beach, if I don't see you, it's like a morning without sunshine. <laughs> you make everybody's day. <laughs> Even though we have a few uh, big, big words to. <laughs> yeah, I forgot today's to disseminate. Word. Huh? What was today's word? I can't remember what it was. I never heard it before. Recalcitrant. Recalcitrant. <laughs> I'm gonna have to look that one up. <laughs> well, I was thinking about what it means. I think it means uh, is something that you're um, uh, sorry that you did. It's, uh -huh. and it has something to do with uh, ties into um, reluctance. I think it's the same. Um, root is reluctance. You're reluctant about things and you're sorry you, you did something. Huh. Recalcitrance is a well, feeling of, of re well, reluctance. and uh, So that's not a bad re word. Remorse ties yeah. in re re yeah. recalcitrance. There's nothing wrong with being remorseful. No. That's a good thing, to be remorseful. It's when you're not, it's you're bad. <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So it's nice to have words that describe everything, like the attorneys <laughs> Big do. words, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'd rather just use remorseful. Yeah, you got to throw in a lot of if buts and to its and yeah, to its. <laughs> whereas's. <laughs> don't forget the whereas's. Oh gosh. <laughs> and don't forget to be when you're cogent. Don't forget to be concatenated. <laughs> <laughs> You've got them all. <laughs> Without that, the cogency isn't worth oh, the hill of beans. You got them all, Roy. You're a hoot. <laughs> all right. Well, I'm going to take off here. I'm going to take my wife and mother out to breakfast here. Hey, wonderful. That's a great yep. idea. Start the day with, fill their bellies. <laughs> well, I'll swing in and join you for breakfast. There you go. <laughs> then we're going <laughs> to go out to dinner later tonight. So. Oh, how nice. It's going to be a food day. It's a nice idea. Yep. Gotta All right, see. Roy. Well, thanks for the chat. Well, it's always a pleasure. It's always a pleasure seeing you, Rob, and bless all those wonderful Facebook friends. Yep. They send their love to you, believe well, me. love to all of them. I'm gonna, They're all beautiful people. I'm going to flip the phone around here real fast, and I'm going to show you something here. Watch this. <laughs> That's me here. Have a, have a hold on there. I want everybody, Roy's looking at the screen there. Show Roy. Hi, Karen Lynn says... Send some love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see that screen light up with hearts here. Karen Lynn says 50, 50 cent words, the big ones. Look at the hearts. <laughs> here come the hearts, Roy. Woo, look at the hearts. <laughs> Carolyn Beach says, enjoy every day, guys. Thanks, Rob. Wasn't that nice of her from Carolyn Let's Beach? See, I want to see that screen fill up with hearts. Oh, golly, it is, it is. I just want to see hearts flying everywhere. Look uh, at them. Uh, Look uh, at them. Uh, it's, uh, it's like a fountain of hearts. Jojo says, up. tally whoo, Captain Roy, <laughs> says Jojo. Karen Lynn says, LOL, you guys. <laughs> 
Ma means, Maggie says hi, Shunshin. LOL means lots of love. Oh, I like that. Lots, lots of, of love. love. Yeah. Yep. Oh, here's uh, Cindy sending me hugs from New Jersey. <laughs> Inker says hi. Scott says love you, Roy. Well, Phil, love you too. Linda says good morning. Good morning, Linda. Debbie Craig says love you. Well, love you too, Linda. My golly, Debbie. Uh, Kathy says, good morning, love Roy, love your music. Whoop, she's gone. Patty Knight says, many players, Roy, Ka Karen, good morning, Roy, much love to you. Well, much love to you, Karen. Lynn Scher says, hi, Roy. Well. And they're just gonna keep on going. Well, They'll isn't that something? Keep on coming, isn't that something? Yeah, bless you all. I mean, it's amazing. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you. Isn't that amazing how many people are out there watching? Well, I think your mom did a good job on you, Rob. Well, I think your mom did a good job on you, too. Well, she worked at it. I uh, I hope I follow a lot of her recommendations. They, uh, you know, they might be up there together, conspiring. Well, everybody's, <laughs> everybody's up there together. Well, you think they met each other up there? I guess everybody meets everybody. It's quite a big jamboree. You think they've met up there in heaven? Well, well, we'll find out if and when we ever <laughs> oh, get yeah. up there. Someday. And we'll have our chat with a great creator. Wouldn't that, Wouldn't be, that be something, huh? Yeah. Give him a few suggestions and recommendations. <laughs> recommendations to the creator? Okay. <laughs> well, I'll, I, I'll, watch. I'll, see, a, I'll watch when you do that. I'll see well, how I, I've got a few. I'm sure everybody could think of a few. Uh, you know, that it'd be nice if he'd eliminate some of these things that are pulling us down, like germs and all that sort of thing. Well, those are... Those are part of his test for us here on Earth. This well, life is a test. Yeah, right. Well, you could it's have not a... supposed to be easy. <laughs> <laughs> this is where this is all the hardships here. So when you die, heaven is a wonderful place. Well, There's no hardships. The germs is difficult to do anything about. Although the science has done a lot of research on it, but uh, but so I'm going to have a chat with a great creator and ask him if he's got such a big big all overall power why that he doesn't wipe out the germs <laughs> we'll see what he says I'll, about that i'll be happy if he gets rid of these flies the first start. well yeah the flies and mosquitoes they, <laughs> they could go too oh, they're terrible <laughs> and today. the no see -ems. the no see can go too <laughs> so you see what i mean you got some recommendations there you go too. <laughs> you ask him why he created them huh yeah <laughs> why did you make those nasty mosquitoes <laughs> what purpose do they serve, mosquitoes? Yeah, I can't think of that. Of course, any. I suppose you could ask the same thing. What purpose do we serve? <laughs> well, we're his entertainment. <laughs> we are his entertainment, I'm sure. <laughs> All right, I got to get moving along, Roy. But you have a fantastic day. You too, Rob. Yeah, it was Always great chatting great. to you, chatting with you. Yeah, we have some great times yep. together. Hearing about your mom. Wonderful lady. And your mom, wonderful, yep. wonderful God bless lady. them yep. both. Yep. Bless all the moms and grandmas and great Bless grandmas. all the moms, the grandmoms, the moms that are here with us, the moms that are in heaven. God bless you all. All right, Roy. Tally ho. Tally ho. Have a great day. Hmm. You want to spray for the flies for the journey? Oh, I'm good. <laughs> well, there you have it. Happy Mother's Day, everyone, from North Naples, Florida. Have a great day, wherever you're watching from in this big, beautiful world we live in. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless. <laughs>